Guys, in this video, we'll be solving one problem based on Gauss Seidel method. Now, here you need to understand. So, basically, we have solved problems of Gauss elimination and Gauss Jordan method. There, we used to do, uh, we used to uh, do with the matrices, right? There, it was matrices. Here, it is quite different. We have to go for the iterations. Okay, different iterations. You have to go for that. Now, before that, you need to understand something. So, this is the standard form we can consider for the system of equation where three variables are involved x y and z okay the d1 d2 d3 are the constant now here if you observe the diagonal coefficients carefully you have to listen here diagonal coefficient what is diagonal coefficients it is nothing but a1 b2 c3 in first equation coefficient of x second equation coefficient of y third equation coefficient of z so what you have to do with that diagonal coefficient a1 b2 b uh, c3 should not be a zero value should not be zero it should be a large number compared to other coefficients here you need to understand it should be a large number compared to other coefficients so i'll tell you how it is possible or how it comes here you look into this problem three system of equation as i said before the first equation should be in that coefficient of x what is coefficient of x it is 5 it should be greater than other coefficient so it is greater than 5 is greater than 2 5 is greater than 1 right this is one coefficient so this will be our first equation some sometimes in the previous video we have solved one problem in that they have jumbled the equations so you need to be careful okay next in second equation coefficient of y you have to see what is the coefficient of y coefficient of y is 4 whether it is greater than 1 and it is greater than 2 yes it is greater than 1 and 2 so this is my second equation second thing in third equation you can see the coefficient of z should be the value that means so that should be the element z, z 5 whether it is greater than 2 and 1 yes it is greater than 2 and 1 this is my third equation why am I telling this? Because sometimes they will jumble and give the equations. Okay, sometimes this will be here, this will be here. So the, you, you need to be careful. That's it. Okay. Now here, next thing. So diagonally, this is nothing but a diagonally dominant system. Why am I telling this? So if you're if I want to write the matrix of this, okay, matrix of this. So 5, then 2, 1, here 1, 4, 2, here 1, 2, 5. Here you can observe the diagonal elements that's what i said this is x so this is y and this is z so diagonal elements you can see observe here that is nothing but the dominant value or we can see that is the largest value among if you compare with the other coefficients it is a large value okay so that's why this system is said to be diagonally dominant system so value diagonal elements are dominating here okay next now the thing is that we will go for next step what you have to write next step is that you have to in first equation you have to keep x one side and take other elements to the other side okay so x is equal to here 12 is a 12 minus 2y minus z and here 5 is there so i will take 1 by 5 here simple next year. second equation i have to take y keep y one side that means lhs rest all on the rhs side so 15 is there already 15 minus you can bring 2z or x so you can bring so x minus 2z anything then uh, 4 is there so 1 by 4 okay next z z is equal to 1 by uh, z 5 right 1 by 5 20 minus 2y minus x or x minus x anything it's fine okay so here we got the three equations now we have to focus on to this three okay one more thing in this question i want to tell you that i want to specify that in this question they have mentioned that you have to take the approximation value initial approximation value as x of zero as one y of zero as two and z of zero as three this thing they have given okay this thing i want to just specify and one more thing they have said that you have to do four iterations four iterations so you have to complete the four iterations 
and this is the initial approximation value we'll get to know how to use this okay so we'll go for the first iteration okay so here i have written again the same equations three equations here now we will go for the first iteration so before that i need to tell that the initial approximation value is given over here that means in the question itself it was given x of 0 is 1 y of 0 is 0 and z of 0 is 3 okay and they have said to do four iterations so we have to complete four iteration so what is the meaning of first iteration so first iteration basically denotes you have to find out x of 1 y of 1 and z of 1 okay so what is x of 1 the same equation you have to see okay the what of the equation is given over here that is 1 by 5 then 12 minus 2 y now the thing is that you have to consider the values of y z or x the latest value or the previously calculated value or previously given value we can say that means what is the value given x y of 0 is given correct so i'll put here y of 0 minus z of z of 0 value is given yes it is given if it is not given in the question you have to consider any value you can consider so basically i consider 0 0 0 okay x of 0 is 0 y of 0 is 0 and z of 0 is 0 if it is not given otherwise you have to consider whatever it is given okay so it is equal to 1 by 5 then 12 is there minus 2 into y of 0 what is y of 0 it is 0 minus z of 0 is what 3 correct so i have already calculated these values so I will directly write it is equal to 1.8 okay just uh, subtract this one and divide it by 5 that's it now we'll go for y of 2 uh, sorry y of 1 y of 1 equation uh, same equation 1 by 4 15 is there minus x here observe carefully x of what I should consider the latest value y of 0 I should consider or y of 1 I should take y of uh, sorry not y of it's x of 0 x of 0 or x of 1 i should consider x of 1 because this is the latest value remember this latest value or the previously calculated value you have to see x of 1 then minus 2 into z of z of 1 is given no no so z of 0 so 1 by 4 15 minus x of 1 it is given 1 1.8 minus 2 into z of 0 is 3 so I have calculated this value also. It is equal to uh, how much it is 1.8 again. Now the z value, z of 1. Z of 1 equal to 1 by 5, 20 minus x of. x of latest value is what? x of 1 itself, right? x of 1 minus 2 into y of 0. I should consider y of 1. y of 1. It is the latest value. Always remember the latest value you have to see. So it is equal to 1 by 5 okay 1 by 5 uh, 20 minus x of 1 value say 1 1.8 minus 2 into y of 1 value is 1 1.8 so this also i have calculated it is equal to 2.92 2.92 let us go for second iteration okay second iteration you have to find out the values of x of 2 y of 2 and z of 2 so x of 2 is equal to same equation 1 by 5 I have written the values of previously calculated values okay first iteration values 12 minus 2 into y of so y of what I should consider the previous or the latest value latest value of y is 1 minus z of latest value is 1 okay so it is equal to 1 by 5 12 minus 2 y of 1 y of 1 is 1 1.8 minus z of 1 is 2.92 so when I calculate this one I will get the value as 1.096 so this is value I am getting next y of 2 it is equal to again the same thing 1 by 4 15 minus x of previously or the latest value is x of 2 x of 2 minus 2 into z of z of what should I consider z of 2 is there no z of 1 is there yes so z of 1 so it is equal to 1 by 5 uh, this one 15 minus x of 2 is this one value minus 2 into z of 2 z of 1 z of 1 it is this one correct so this also i have calculated so it is equal to 2.016 next i'll consider this last value z of 2 
it is equal to 1 by 5 and 20 minus x of latest value of x of it is 2 minus 2 into y of latest value it is 2 and this is equal to 1 by 20 uh, sorry 1 by 5 right 1 by 5 into 20 minus uh, what should I consider here x of 2 values 1.096 minus 2 into y of 2 values 2.016 correct so this value it is equal to 2.9744 2.9744 okay now we'll go for the uh, third iteration right so for that uh, let me uh, just tell you that I have written the all the values of latest values of the previous iteration now third iteration that is x of 3 you have to find out okay third means uh, x of 3 so x of 3 again the same equation you have to go for that is 1 by 5 so 1 by 5 into 12 minus what is the value of uh, 2 into y of latest values y of 2 minus z of latest values 2 right so it is equal to 1 by 5 12 minus 2 into y of 2 is 2.016 minus z of 2 is uh, 2.9744 okay so this is the value so uh, the value of this will give me the answer as I have calculated this it is 0 0.9987 next y of 3 y of 3 is equal to same equation 1 by 4 okay 1 by 4 15 minus x of now the new value is 3 x of 3 minus 2 into z of 2 correct the latest value of z of 2 only i have so it is equal to 1 by 4 15 minus x of 3 0 0.9987 minus 2 into z of 2 z of 2 is this one 2.9744 so i have calculated this value also it is 2.0131 next to 2.0131 okay now the z z value so z of 3 it is equal to this equation 1 by 5 20 minus x of latest value is 3 minus 2 y of latest value of y is 3 not 2 so it is equal to so i'll just solve this one so 1 by 5 20 minus x of 3 values 0 0.9987 minus 2 into y of 3 values 2.0131 so when I calculate this value, it is giving me the answer as 2.9950. Okay, so I've got the third iteration also. Let us go for the last iteration, fourth one. So x of 4, I have to find out, which is equal to. Now, same equation, 1 by 5, 12 minus 2y of latest value. I have written third iteration values I have written, okay. So y of 3 minus z of latest is 3 so it is equal to 1 by 5 uh, 12 minus 2 into y of 3 is 2.0131 minus z of 3 is 2.9950 okay so this also value it is equal to 0 0.9958 next the uh, y of y of 4 okay not x of 4 it is y of 4 equal to 1 by 4 this equation 15 minus x of 3 i have to take sorry not 3 4 okay x of 4 latest value minus 2 into z of latest value is 3 so it is equal to 1 by 4 15 minus x of 4 values 0 0.9958 minus 2 into z of 3 value it is 2.9950 so i have calculated this value also so it is coming as 2.0036 next we will go for the last value which is z of 4 so z of 4 is equal to 1 by 5 this equation 20 minus x of latest value is 4 4 minus 2 into y of 4 latest value is 4 okay so here so this becomes 1 by 5 20 minus x of 4 it is 0 0.9958 minus 2 into y of 4 it is 
so the value it is equal to 2.9956 so i got till four iterations this value i'm getting as 2.9994 okay so anything is fine so let us see now the thing is that how to write the value of x and x y and z okay now the fourth iteration we have done so if you see the fourth iteration values and the last iteration value last iteration value in the sense if you see the uh, x of 3 y of 3 and all so let me just put it to a different page so if you see carefully i have written the third iteration values and fourth iteration values so you have to just to compare the previous iteration values with the uh, the latest iteration values so till 4 we have completed so if you compare these two values what is happening it is almost uh, similar right identical you can see almost 2.0 2.0 something 2.99 2.99 so you can write the x values as the fourth iteration value as it is that means x value as 0.9958 y value as 2.0036 and z value as 2.994 994 this you can write otherwise you can just consider approximate the value it is 0 0.99 something so you can consider it as 1 y value is 2 point something 2 z value is 2.99 something so i can consider it as 3 so like that also i can just approximate the value and write it or otherwise the last iteration values you can directly write the values as x y z variables okay